Hi everyone, welcome to Inside with Lily Zhang. Today is August the 12th. Hey, I'm in Berlin. I I lived in Berlin in 2018 when I first um, come to Germany. Yeah, I lived here for a year. Really love it. Uh, Berlin is such a, a beautiful city and it's summertime, the best time in Berlin. Uh, Berlin is uh, it's it's a international city almost like the capital of uh, Europe. It's called or oh, you can always find uh, history, culture and uh, always something new, something old, something traditional, something trendy. Berlin is such a great mix of everything. <laughs> Um, today, um, yep. this is my favorite part of um, Berlin, which is the culture and uh, heritage center of uh, Berlin, uh, the Museum Island, Museum Insel. This is uh, the river, Berlin's river, Spree River. And uh, this is uh, island. It's called uh, Spree Island too. So the whole museum island, the whole island, is uh, a very large uh, museum complex. It is pretty much the biggest one in the whole Europe. Of course, this uh, is uh, Berlin's yeah. cultural center. Hey, this is the Berlin uh, Dome, which is uh, the Berlin Cathedral. Also, um, it's a it's a monumental German evangelical um, church and a dynastic tome. This is uh, the bridge over the museum island. The, I, I like this part, those columns, and. Uh, <laughs> Spree River. Um, actually, do you know Berlin's got uh, more uh, bridges than Venice? These are the columns and uh, pillars in symbol. They connect some um, buildings made up by the Old National Gallery. This is the uh, Old National Gallery. Because there are totally five big uh, museums on this island. This is an um, old museum. There are new museum and Pogamo Museum, which is the most famous, and uh, the old National Gallery. Um, and this is uh, a Kolonnadenhof, means a colonnade um, courtyard. And there, look at those sculptures. Um, Pergamo Museum. This is very, very famous. It's got uh, so many yep. um, connection, uh, connections um, of um, from Egyptian, from old uh, Babylon. I've been to um, this museum in 2018. That was uh, very impressive. Yeah, and uh, this is uh, the courtyard. It's a very nice to wandering around here, have a rest here, and um, um, those sculptures, bronze sculptures, are, are quite famous too. And uh, this whole island, with all its uh, museums, being listed on UNICO heritage, and these columns uh, have some very interesting feature and I, I love the, the structure of these columns but look at when you look at closely that's look at these, do you see those holes those are the actually the bully holes from the siege bully of holes. burning yeah. end of world war Two. look at that oh my god yeah. every column every column has got yeah. hundreds of bully holes. All of them. Unbelievable. Yeah, this is a Berlin. It's got uh, its history, its past, every corner, every column, every uh, brick has its own history. It's just unbelievable. 
and uh, this uh, part is uh, quite modern you can see this is because uh, so uh, it's the new Lloyd Lloyd's Museum this is uh, the museum the new museum in Berlin so even from this historical side you can see the museum's got all got its uh, characters see I, that's why I love Berlin Berlin's got so many historical buildings uh, cathedrals but uh, very modern buildings too and uh, today actually see I, when I was in Berlin in 2018 it's all under construction now it's all completed it's uh, great to see that and today now this is a uh, Berlin Schloss which is a uh, Berlin uh, palace and now it's been called uh, Humboldt Forum it's amazing because when I was here for so many years um, uh, see there's still some construction because when I was here it's all under construction I couldn't see and now it's open it's completed it's open it was open in 2020 this definitely is the new landmark of Berlin the it's a political hotspot for 800 years the Humboldt Forum is a new building on a historic side time after time princes and politicians have built redesigned demolished and replanned on this side to advertise their political claims around this building there are many opportunities to learn about this often controversial site now we get inside the um, this uh, a museum um, or forum because outside it's a uh, baroque um, style facade and uh, inside it's very modern you can see <laughs> it's I love this um, combination you know you, you can see those columns are baroque uh, style and uh, inside the whole courtyard look at that um, it's uh, actually basically outside keep the original design of the palace but inside is totally modern and uh, this uh, humble forum uh, it's at the moment it's a museum of non-european art um, in the historical site of Berlin Palace look at those uh, so you can see those uh, baroque style um, old columns of course it's uh, Germans are very 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 good at they they can back to the original use the modern technology to build the original columns and they can even build the original Barbinum um, facade of like like 4,000 years ago they can back to the original okay those all those digital screens and and they can combine modern and uh, uh, his history historical building together see that's a, such a big contrast and combination and this forum is named in honor of the Prussian scholars Rome and Alexander from Humboldt it combines the rebuilt uh, like I said Baroque facade of the former royal palace and the modern interior design by Franco Stella look at that um, this is from their historical uh, this is the old palace this is a uh, uh, information and uh, that's how uh, during construction how they use pieces or pieces of uh, privately connected those facade those pieces of facade hey I was there um, in 2018 to visit because they under construction they opened once um, for public to see how uh, this build this pen has been redesigned rebuilt and now I'm so glad to see it's it's been completed and um, 
yeah, like I said, this is uh, was a royal palace, um, but now uh, inside it's very modern, and uh, it's it's pretty much considered as the German equivalent of the British Museum. It's got uh, hey, this is yeah, and. I think there was uh, there are hundreds of thousands of rooms uh, you can have, they can have the at the moment they house the it's it's uh, connections of the uh, Berlin State Museum but this is a courtyard it's also built as a public forum for for the public actually everybody can come here it's free and uh, I love this courtyard it's just uh, it feels like uh, a little bit like the ancient time, Rome. Uh, the public just come here to have a concert. So see, this is a, a concert hall. And uh, yeah, Berliners like uh, their concert. And you can have a drink, cafes, meeting family and friends here. Or just sitting here and uh, learn yeah, some right. history and uh, enjoy the reconstruction of the palace. <laughs> I really admire Germans. They, they can how they reconstruct the old ancient uh, museums or at, uh, architectures. Yeah, so this uh, the, I think called uh, Hongbo Forum is quite uh, accurate. Yeah. See, this is a sculpture uh, museum. Oh, so the queue is too long. And just a, just a family um, place. Everybody enjoy Berliners enjoy culture events. Oh, yeah, nice and they yeah, sitting also cream. sitting ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I, actually, I had an ice cream here. Yeah, I'm I'm just today. I'm so happy to be one of the public to be here to enjoy this courtyard. I came here when the the whole palace was under construction i didn't see this um, i i visited the the construction site but now i see how this uh, new concept the combination of um, ancient palace reconstruction of palace combined with modern life modern public forum just like those old ancient Romans, they just come together, almost like uh, together with kings, princes, and just together to enjoy the public life. This is the Berlin's Alt Museum, built from 1825 to 1830 by order of King Frederick William III of Prussia, according to plans by Karl Friedrich. Uh, Schinkel. It is um, considered as a major work of German neoclassical architecture. It is a home for um, antique um, connections. This is the yeah. last garden in C. See, oh, the, see the, really the new yeah, the palace? palace really well, we we just been there, the Humble Forum. It looks so much like the old palace. And uh, this, uh, you know, this is the uh, Berliner Dome, the Cathedral of Berlin. So these um, uh, plots, it's a, a square, is very famous and surrounded by the palace, the old um, museum, and the Berliner uh, Dome. So this is the best part of. Berlin. Berliners just love to be here. You can see day and night just sitting here. Uh, enjoy the sun. Um, this picture from from history to now hasn't changed much. Of course, inside is all modern, but Germans love their heritage. Germans, uh, they never forget their history, but also their, they enjoy their modern life too. Berlin is a, a city of cafes, restaurants, uh, multicultural and diversity. 
yeah. people from all over Lisbon. Europe, all over the world, Lisbon. come here, live um, yeah. very harmoniously to together. Yeah. Uh, in in Berlin, uh, you don't even need to speak German. English is uh, very commonly spoken, and uh, there are so many interesting things every day happen in Berlin. Look at this Irish pub. It's got all the flags and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but well, there's a, a restaurant in Berlin. They offer a hundred types of uh, German beer, or maybe not just yeah. German beer, probably German, just one hundred types. So you can, I just feel Berlin is like really like a capital of Europe. It's uh, very interesting. Now I'm at a French cafe, and it's quite authentic French. I'm gonna enjoy my lunch here. I hope you enjoy Berlin just like me. Thank you very much and I see you next time.